This morning, S.A. Cosby. He is one of America's hottest writers, spinning tales of rural crime fiction. Cosby's latest is All the Sinners Bleed, which only continues the head of steam he's picked up in recent years, including two appearances on former President Obama's summer reading lists. We met Cosby in his hometown, an hour outside Richmond, Virginia, a place with a complicated past that has produced a man redefining its future. A lot of your childhood is in these books. Yeah. We were poor, but we just were rich in love. I never felt unloved. I never felt unhappy. I Sean Cosby grew up dirt poor, living in a trailer without running water until he was 16. On the other side of this window is the room he and his brother shared, both raised by a single mom, who despite the family's financial situation, poured everything into her kids. Strongest person I ever knew. Brilliant lady, really smart. If life had gone differently, she'd be the one y'all be talking to instead of me as a writer. Cosby was a talkative, rambunctious boy who dreamed up stories from an early age. Out front, there used to be a bar, and a, a lot of bar fights and bar scenes in my books were inspired by stuff I saw. They're probably stuff I had no business seeing, but. <laughs> he first started writing horror, then turned to crime, prompted by the prospect of earning 50 bucks for a short story. And I really needed that $50. And because uh, I was like, you know, counting change for gas at the time. And uh, it was the funny thing. It was like, I've been writing for 20 years and very little success. And started writing crime fiction. It seemed like things happened really quick, like really fast. Why do you think that is? You know what I think is funny? I think I was always supposed to be a crime fiction writer. You know, I wasn't in the right, I was in the, as uh, my mom used to say, I was in the church, but I was in the wrong pew. Since 2019, Cosby has published four books in five years. The latest is All the Sinners Bleed, featuring a small town sheriff investigating a series of horrific crimes, all against the backdrop of what Cosby calls the four pillars of Southern fiction, class, religion, sex, and race. In All the Sinners Bleed, black folks and white folks don't get along. Right. Is that the case in reality here? Or was this just the book? Um, somewhat. I think I, you know, maybe turned it up a little bit for the book. But you know, my hometown is Matthews County, Virginia, and we still have a, a, a Confederate statue up. And we had a referendum a couple years ago about taking the statue down, and it lost by a lot. This is the statue? Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, it's been here my whole life. This building here used to be the courthouse building. That is literally 10 steps from the statue. And for me, it's, I think they were trying to send a really clear message. Confederate flags still fly here in Matthews, just an hour outside Richmond. It is a place that may still be rife with tension, but also pride for Cosby no matter what subject he turns to. Yeah. Good seeing you again. Take care. All right, bro. Take care and good yes, luck sir. to you. All right, thank you. The way my community has embraced me and my books, it's incredible. It, it's, you know, it, it feels so surreal, but at the same time, it's so comforting. And so, like, even people- you were, the, you were the grand marshal? Yeah, grand marshal of a Christmas parade. So, like, I like to say, even people that, you know, don't like me are happy for me. You said you can't remember the last time you paid for dessert. <laughs> Cosby spent much of his early years here at the library. Words were his world. Then and now, he has no compunction about spilling them. On the page, on social media, or during our interview. Can I just say something? Your, your mind does not stop. <laughs> I, it's incredible. Yeah, I feel like we're on one subject and you could go off on in, in 12 different ways. I have a tendency to go on tangents. I, I wrote a joke the other day on social media. One of my friends was like, are you high? I was like, no, it's just the way I think, you know? And, and, and when I was a kid, it was just uncontrollable. My mom told me, I started talking at two and never shut up. And so it's just been a thing. And I, you know, I never thought of it as a, an ability. You know, I never thought of it as a good thing. I always got in trouble. I can't remember reading a writer who embraces and energizes the simile <laughs> like you do. My editor, we have a deal. 
I'm, I'm limited to three similes a page. Because <laughs> if I don't, I will just take off. I love the sound of similes. I love yeah. the sound of metaphors. Like the freight trains that run through Matthews County, Cosby's books keep coming with no end in sight. And it's hard to see him running out of track anytime soon. I think the thing that I'm most proud of is that people from all walks of life read my books and like them. Where do you want this journey to take you? <laughs> it's crazy. I wish I could go back in time and tell 12 year old me, you're not gonna believe the places that words are gonna take you. Your words. You're gonna be in Amsterdam one day. You're gonna be on the New York Times bestseller list. A former president is gonna not only know your name, but like your books. You know, you asked me where the journey I wanna go. I think I've gone there, you know? I think I've, I've gone that place. I just, I just want to be able to keep writing and keep telling stories. He was a lot of fun. It's Love fun. him. Right? And he's like, I started talking it too, and my mom says I never shut <laughs> up. Um, but he's just great. And it's, it, the, the pride that people have for him there is, is, is pretty amazing yeah, to see. Yeah, well. And he's just going. I mean, he, you know, you get the sense with some of these authors and writers, you're spending time with them, and it's just, he was a joy to spend time with, but they just want to be in front of the right. computer, just, right. Right, working. just working, yeah. right? Well, and that's him right now. For someone who gets in a lot of trouble, especially on this show, for going on tangents, <laughs> I love this guy. Yeah, <laughs> he is such a validator. Yeah. So thank you. And thank you, you S.A. Just the energy around him, I, yeah. not having read his stuff yet, now I want to read it to see how that energy comes out on the it's, page. All the sinners yeah. bleed, check yeah. it out. I want to read it. Great stuff. Absolutely.